Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Panther QS2. Be the enemy's battlefield cancer with Panther QS2. Alright, so we've had two successful missions in a row. Uh, they've been quite good. We did, actually did really well on both of them. And, you know, we did have an advantage in the second one. The first one, we just did really well. So let's try... I was... Let's go to the command center. I th hey, was going to try this chair. two and a half skull. It's against the Regulans. But then so is this three and a half. And I'm like... We've already done a two and a half against Word of Blake. I'm um, thinking we should be able to do a three and a half against the Regulans. Like, I, sure. So let's go this one today and see how well we do with the main lance. I'm interested to see, like, if we could pull this off. They should only really have four per, um, four mechs per, uh, area too big tonnage what the hell does too big tonnage mean too big tonnage minimum five tons minimum five tons what does that mean why um I don't understand. Why this is saying minimum five tons. Like do we, can we only bring 30 ton mechs? That can't be it. Maybe they're only allowing four of us down. Is that the case? No, I can have six units. So... Uh, I don't understand. What am I missing here? Panther. Nothing? I wonder what's up with that. All right, well, here we go. All right, not a bad position, I guess. So let's do something similar to last time. It's going to take a while for the uh, indicator to get up there anyway. So let's just move down this way. Might as well move everybody this way. Confirmed. Since we got to kind of go that way anyway. Can't get down anywhere else. All right, you guys. Might as well get up here fast. Affirmative. Moving to position. Alright. Keep it going. We might get lucky, like I don't know. All I have out. a feeling that we're not gonna get lucky. I get you. On the move. Like what would work out best is if this first area here we didn't have any mechs or any drops, and then the second one they landed with like four heavies or something like that. Like, not heavies that could kill us, but, like, heavies that would give us a good fight. I'm walking here. But that's not going to happen. All right, well, we're going to position for ambush. Aye, aye. We will position for ambush. We're picking up the turrets now. Heading out. Heading out. All right. Um, let's put the Vindicator here. Acknowledged. Let's give you a bit of evasion, put you right there. Confirmed. Down here. Setting up for ambush. Like that. We'll do the same thing we did. Actually, I think I have to be a little closer than that. I think I gotta be right here. So this is. Let's go there. With the Hetzer. Since this guy's a little slower. Uh, let's go here. 
Like that. On it. Here we go. Need to see it, but there's something going on with this bio lab. Let's check out the bio lab complex. So nothing here. Okay, we got lucky. Uh, maybe my request was filed and uh, it'll happen. All right, I'll wait. <laughs> I'll come back when we're up here. Let's find out what we're up against. I'm going. All right, here we go. We're in the ability to move in, so I'm just gonna move straight in with the vindicator here. Let's get to a point like right there. On my way. See what happens here. All right. Quarantine by the regular. Leave this area now. So, okay. So it's they bust out of the buildings. All right. So it should only be four. Theoretically. And they got four. So we've got a Vulcan. Another Vulcan. Centurion. This is three and a half skull. And a Clint. Really? Okay. Got it. I'm getting ripped off. Position we definitely got to get out of this area. All right, let's get you up here. Acknowledged. Uh, vehicles, let's put you someplace where you can dart in next turn, like right there. Coordinates received. And somewhere where you can absorb some damage right there, probably. Alright. Standing by. Big Tex. Oof, that's like brutal. That's a little better with the rotary. Let's get into there. I copy. Let's wind it up and hammer this guy. Two, four, six, full out. Bring you up to the top. And, uh, yeah, let's give it to him. Give it everything I've got. Good damage. Got four hits out of that. I don't know if they were all the rotary hits, but at least three rotary hits. Uh oh, we got a melee going on here. Is that a charge? It's a miss. Looked like it was supposed to be a kick attack, but uh, I live to serve. Don't know. Wait, where are you? F oh, you're the other Vulcan. This guy's going on 13. 13. That's the 9A Centurion. God, that's a kill shot. Melee, don't do it. Just don't do it. And because this guy attempted to melee me, we're going to go for max damage. Let's go this route. Acid first to strip away the armor and then just hammer him with the good stuff. Roger that. Thanks for showing up. That's a kill. Thanks for showing up. Yeah, you better back up. Dropping the LRM-10 on me. System's holding. Commander. All right, Bubba. How far can you get? Let's go for the kill. Let's go for the kill. Metal affected. Streak six. Uh, Rack's not gonna hit. I'm gonna leave it on three. We might we might get lucky with it. Still gonna bring it to the top though. We might get lucky with it. If not, that's fine. Hopefully we do some damage here though. Uh, we could get a kill here. All weapons are oh, we hit once. Good damage. That hit something good. Good damage. Now, do we have anybody else going before him? Could be an AC-10 here. Nope, laser version. Interesting. Going against the Cloudbuster, eh? Alright. That was 13. You should, you should have went with this guy first. Unless we don't have anybody on 13, we don't. Okay. I think I'm going to feed the Centurion to the Hetzer. Or oh, maybe the Clint. I don't know. We'll see here. Uh-oh. My wheels are melting. I'm showing minor damage. I'm showing my wheels are melting. So that's... Is he in range with the... Can't get him there, though. 
It looks like the AC-20 is in rage. Kind of his leg is in, but I, I don't know. Let's go here. I was hoping to be further away, oh, so less temptation for him to whoop, for him to step on me. But whatever. I was worried about that being stepped on. All right, let's hammer him. Land it again. Beautiful. Solid connection on that one. You got that right. It's a misfire though. Yeah. All right, where is that? Oh, there he is. There. The other guy. That guy, that one guy. But watch out, it's that one guy. Confirmed. We've got the leg. Good crits. At least he's going down. He might blow up if he falls. Let's see what happens here. Nope, still alive. Standing by. He's not giving up either. Um Okay. Can I? Why can't I double waypoint that? That's kind of weird. So if I shift here, shift click here, shift click here, apparently not. Is it too far to set a waypoint? Can't be. There we go. It's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Heading out. The waypoints setting now with the shift clicking is a little weird. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I think we go after this, this guy here. This guy's going to get low initiative next turn anyway. So I'm going to put the uh, bolt on incendiary. So we'll leave the p -p 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 pulse on him. It's actually not a bad loadout in this guy. Too bad he doesn't have a lot of armor. Confirmed. Those is ER large. Target taking a critical hit. Tons of engine crits. Fires detected on occupying units. Oh, that's our turrets. Standing by. So if we don't kill them this turn, these turrets are going to do it. So I wonder if we go after the Centurion and try for the kill here. Let's do that. On the move. Be. Let's go for the kill on the scent. I think we should be able to burn through that torso. Hopefully set off some ammo here. AC-10 version. Yeah, let's just hammer. We'll leave the acid on. It'll splash everywhere. There we go. Core meltdown. Good thing we're far enough away here. Commander. Alright, big sex. Let's get... Uh... Right... There. On it. How are we doing for recoil here? Not bad. I mean, we could get the kill here. Uh, do we have? We do. That's a little better. I mean, a few percent how better. We'll fire on this guy. Just because. He okay, landed too. Did most of the damage to the building. Oh well. Target taking a critical hit. Ready for orders. Hopefully we can get a double heat sink kit out of this mess. I don't want these guys to. Uh, I don't want the uh, turrets to get the kills on this. So I'm going to make sure we get the kills here. Go after the guys that are toughest first. Firing on him. Confirmed. Look at the, <laughs> the engine crits. I'm really liking that p -p 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 pulse laser. It's not something you would really want to put on something heavier, but System holding. for like light vehicles and mechs, yes, Commander. You know, for sure. Um, mm. Let's see if we can give you the mech kill here. Back up over here. Otherwise, the vehicles are going to take it. Ah, rack's garbage, but we'll fire everything.
Close this whole side. Solid connection on that one. She's running too hot. Commander? Not too hot, just hot. Big difference. Okay, get back over here. If you're too hot, you're melting down. Alright, we got two machine guns. How are you doing? Pretty darn good. I mean, I could fire that. We rarely ever do two shots at once. Let's go after this guy's leg. Yeah, I missed it. It's fine. Got the kill though, I think, didn't we? Target neutralized. Yep, we did. Pilot incapacitated. Damn. Okay, good. What do you need? Please get the kill on this guy. Uh, not the trees. Oh, you're fine here. Oh, no, you're not. Hetzer's in the way. I don't want to get real close because they can still, uh, those turrets can still hit me by accident. Alright, let's give it to this guy. Roger. See ya. He's just taking a dirt nap. Removed. Mission successful. Excellent. So I don't know what to say about that. That was three and a half skull. I thought for sure it was going to be more difficult. Like, I was convinced it was going to be more difficult. But, whatever. I was really... That would have been nice if there was four heavies at the end there. That would have been a good fight. Would have, would have been a really good fight, I think. Uh, energy crit. No double heat sinks or anything, eh? Slug AC 10 ammo, though. It's for knocking people down. Meh. Energy crit. I would probably use other stuff. Let's grab the tag. Let's grab the CC, C3 slave. A pair of ER medium lasers. That's not bad. Maybe the centurion part. That's a, we're going to get most of the stuff anyway. So that's pretty good, I guess. Alright, we've got the two Vulcan and the Clint pieces. AC-10, flamer, machine gun can go. Basic cot bits. I'm just going to get rid of this. Wait. Accuracy with energy weapons, plus one. So let's hold on to that. That might be interesting. I didn't realize it had the plus one to hit. Normally the energy crit doesn't. It was just a double, like double your your crit um, chance, right? But now it's like gives you that plus one accuracy. Kind of gives you a reason to use it, you know? Yeah, we'll hang on to that. All right, five grand, that's like nothing. So they did, they did land a few shots there, but not too bad. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking about... Let's go to the mech bay real quick and see if we can switch out... Nah, because we all took a little bit of damage here. So the... the um, is it the Valkyrie with the two... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Valkyrie. With the two largest and the pulse laser. That might be a good option for that fire control system. Because those pulses, like, once the, once the enemy's opened up, there's a lot of opportunity for crits there. Right? If that doubles the crit chance, like, that that would be great on a, on a mech with, like, a lot of medium pulse lasers and the p -p 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 pulses or something like that, right? That you can just, like, take advantage of the actual number of energy shots. You know what I'm saying? So let's, uh, before we end the episode today, let's figure out where we're going here. Because um, I don't, I can't take another mission. I mean, I could stay here and try and take another mission, but we got to get out of here. We're looking for another three and a half skull planet. I was hoping to find something within like a one month range. So let's have a quick look around here and see if I can spot something. All right, well, I didn't find the perfect place, but Ford is like way over here, 29 days. So I think we, we jumped there. Because we got the sea bills right now, right? We jump there, pull off a couple missions when we get there, and then we jump again. Because that way we'll be in range of a lot of potential worlds that we can we can get into. So there's like free worlds league here, right? And then this is Republic of the Sphere. We've got uh, Lyran Commonwealth, so Steiner. And then this is uh, Capellans over here. So we're in range of some good worlds to jump into. So we'll just use this as a staging area. Now there's a couple of three and a half, 
slash four skull planets around here, but that's kind of taking us away from the center. And there's a couple of, um, there's a couple of, uh, what do you call it? Um, missions here. Comstar test drive. We haven't done these in like the flashpoints. We haven't done these in a long time. And limited glide at four skull. We might be able to get away with pulling one of these off. Medium difficulty. Like, I don't know. Like, well, how many more days is that until this is done? Doesn't say. Let's just click off and click back. 136 days. So we got plenty of time to get there. The other one, this one was 101. So plenty of time to get there. So I think if we go to Ford, which was here. Yeah, we'll go here. It's Comstar Presence, uh, large population manufacturing. So we might be able to find some stuff in the store as well. So let's just make a quick jump there. It's going to cost us 100000 plus our financial report. Now, uh, while we're making the jump here. Ready to go over financials whenever you are. Actually, let's do something here. We got to get the bushwhacker back. We're, like, we're really, really close. I had a look in the um, hiring hall at the end of the last episode to see if there's anybody good there to hire, and there wasn't. Let's get the bushwhacker up to the top. Let's get the Perseus up to the top and get those done early on the jump. Let's bring the Orion up. So those are all done. These guys are all one day, so they'll get done really quickly. Um, We'll just have a quick look here. I want to show you the bushwhacker when it comes back because I think it's a actually a pretty darn good loadout. Uh, let's give him the Art of Assassination to read. Let's see what happens here. Gets 90, 90 days, gets Assassin, which is really nice, plus 3 OP accuracy. 3,000 experience points, but I don't think Lightbolt's actually doing anything right now. So we'll have to see if we can get a fourth Lance up and running really soon here. We're pretty close. we got enough mechs, so I think we just need a couple pilots. And we got the vehicles too. I can bring some vehicles forward. So we've got enough for a full another like third lance. Kind of enjoying running with the singular lance. Which Wacker's going to be the last thing to come back here. I know the Perseus is back, but I got to hold off spending too much money until I know we can make our next financial report. So let's go to the mech base. Everything should be back. I think the Rabid Coyote has had some damage. Yeah. So the so the Perseus is back. This thing, it's it's a, once again, it's another Orion. We're going to do... I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring Scent down, Stormcrow down, and bring this guy over here. And we'll bring the Bushwhacker up into this this Lance. I think the Rabid Coyote is, is probably got... I'm, I'm going to keep trying a few more times to see if I can get this to work. But if it's not working, I'm just going to drop it and bring uh, another mech forward. We got, other, we got other mechs in this weight category, so... Um, or we'll bring another heavier one forward and drop the Bushwhacker down. But the Bushwhacker... Actually, we'll have a look at the Perseus first. So this has got a nice potential for loadout here. Now we could do... Someone had suggested, and I apologize, I can't remember who it was, uh, because it's uh, built-in XL, we could do um, a light uh, AC-20 in each arm. So that would mean I, to, I would have to redo the Centurion and redo the bush, Bushwhacker. Uh, so, I mean, that's a possibility. We also got the Pirate AC-5s. There's a bunch of stuff. We got the AC-20 Midran down here, which we could bring forward. We got the Ultra-10 now. We got an Ultra-20, but I don't think I have any ammo for the Ultra-20. Nor do we have... Oh, we picked up ammo for the Ultra-10. Yeah, we do. We don't have any Ultra-20 ammo, unfortunately. Uh, what else? Yeah, we got the, now we got the Goss loadouts that we can do, right? So that opens up possibilities for this thing. Like we could, because uh, we got our, so this is, like the, I maxed out the armor as best I could and everything before um, um, repairing it so the armor would be done. I don't have to mess with the armor. So we've got almost like 37 tons, 37 and a half tons to work with, which is tons. Doesn't have arms, so can't use the combat shotgun, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, there's always this. Cannot in that location. It has to go in the torso, I guess, because of the, of the, of the uh, type of weapon. We could do this, right? Or we could go 
I think this can go in there. Yeah, we can go with this, you know, and then round it out with some other stuff. It would be a really cool, like, like non-heat-wise build if we go this route. I mean, it's only 24 heat. So there's a, a variety of options that we could could go with. We got the, the plasma cannons, which I'm not sold on. We still got another. We got a quick sell, quick sell heavy PPC um, with big recoil. So that, this would be one of those things where I don't think this thing has any recoil, does it? Doesn't look like it has recoil. So you could fire the PPC on one turn and then turn it off the next turn. Because I just can't mitigate that. Got the larger improved heavy laser too. Like we could figure out a build for this thing. Plus we've got um, well, we do have a double heatsink kit here. We do uh, the prototype double heatsink kit. Oh yeah, because we got that last mission. Prototype double heatsink kit we could go with, but we've only got three prototype double heatsinks, so it's we can't really maximize the use. But we do have a where is it? Where are you? Up here probably. Laser insulator, so that could help with this thing, right? And apparently it won't go in the arm because of what? What did it just say? Cannot be used with Omnimech. Oh, that's interesting. Interesting and unfortunate. So I mean, that probably rules this out. Well, I mean, I mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't think I have any. Um, I have a heat bank, but I don't think I have any. Uh, Exchangers left over. They're all in service at the moment. Actually, we're at the plant now, right? I mean, you've seen what you see. What's there? So we've got the ability to put something together for the Perseus. I mean, right now we're going to stick with um, Stormcrawl. Probably bring this, the Bushwhacker into this lance now, and leave these guys down here. But the Bushwhacker is kind of similar to the Centurion in a way. This is 55. This is 50 tons. This guy had fixed slots, unfortunately. Now, I've run this mech before, and it's it's always been a fairly good mech. So we've got we've got a light light AC twenty here, with a ton of precision, a ton of incendiary, and regular ammo. It's been cased on this side. Medium X pulse in the center torso with an active probe, two sixty core, which gives it a half decent amount of speed. I mean, it's like five eight or five seven or four seven. It's not too bad. And then we have the fixed rocket launchers, which I can't remove. So we got two fives, two tens, two fifteens, and a twenty. And then I threw a heavy rocket launcher ten in the arm for a punch. It's only one ton. So there's a nice punchy weapon. So we got this nice big hitter, pair of medium X pulses to back it up. And then the rockets. Now I can't, uh, you can see the heat problem, right? But we also got the uh, bol double bolt on rockets here too. So if we decide that we just want to end somebody real quickly, we could unload all of the rockets, the AC, we'd leave the X pulses off. But all the rockets in the AC would go off. Because the X-Pulses are what? 20 something each? Or 20, 18 each? So it's 36 heat less off of this. Which puts it at, you know, we'd be over by 18 or 17 or something like that. Fair, well, we'd, we'd be over a little bit, but not too, too much. Wait, 11? 15? We'd be 15 over. Which isn't too bad. Right? That's if we fired all the rockets. We've got the advanced zoom on it, so it gives us a bonus to hit. But, you know, the AC-20 for the big punch and then all the rockets to follow up. Or the rockets first to, to shred the armor and then the AC-20 hopefully punch through and kill something. But with the incendiary here as well, this allows us to, gives us the ability to, uh, to overheat somebody if we want to do that as well. So it's, it's not a bad loadout. I'm interested to see, uh, I don't know, how it turns out. Oh, Smokey Special has three salvo. Wait, did he, are these three salvos? I didn't realize that these were three salvos. So these are all Inferno. I thought they were improved rocket launchers. They're incendiary rocket launchers. So it's all Inferno. So we can melt somebody down real fast. How much is this heat-wise? 15. Yeah, so we could leave this off. The two X pulses off. Fire the AC-20 with incendiary and all of these to melt somebody down. And we got three shots at this too. That's um, that's a little... Uh, okay, I, I was going to say it's a little bit OP, but I don't know until we actually get into combat. Now the armor's not fully maxed out either. We're down at like 10 points in each torso, 30 in the CT. 
The back's not bad. The legs aren't bad. I generally don't lose legs that often. It's mostly sides that I lose, so I don't really max out the legs more so. Plus, I don't keep ammo in here too, so it's not... I don't have to max them out and have to worry about ammo going off, so... Um, but yeah, it's not a bad loadout. Pharaoh and Endo, double heat sink kit. It's, you know, kind of a basic loadout. We'll see what happens. I, I want to keep this because of the weight, right? It's only 8 tons, and that's a heavy hitter. The thing never jammed uh, on the Centurion, so I'm hoping it doesn't jam with whatever pilot this is. We'll have to see how it goes. Um, I'm not sure who's going to pilot this yet. Uh, I may bring some of the pilots from this lance down to this third lance. Actually, now that we're, I think we're at the planet, right? No, we've got 11 more days to get there. So I'm going to end this episode here. Um, in between episodes, I'll continue to the planet. I might do a loadout for the Perseus, because if I can do that and we can get a, a couple of pilots at the planet, then we can run three missions when we're there before we jump. We'll run three black back to back and then jump off the, out of the system. So let me think about that. And maybe it will be the HA, HA-40 on the Perseus. I'm not 100% sure yet. I got to think about what it is. We've got the PPC build. We've got the rotary build. We'll have the AC-20 uh, bushwhacker overheater build. So maybe the, the, the Gauss build would be good. If we can keep it running cool then it can just continuously fire. I might do something with like a non-recoil build. So maybe it is a Goss build. I wonder if I have another Goss rifle. Uh, you know what? I'll worry about that between episodes. Maybe I, I'm going to look towards a Goss build for that, I think. A nice low heat, no recoil, continuous fire build that can just be a fire support mech continuously. I don't know what we'll have to actually make that work really well. We're going to have to get some more components, I think, or I may have to pull some out of the other mechs to make that really work well. But we'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And please check out that quick sell site. Until next time, we'll see you later.